Hi, this is Mr. Barker. I'm going to talk to you briefly about uh, mathematics at Key Stage 4, uh, and then Mr. Lucas and Mr. Williamson uh, will go into more detail on the videos below. Um, but this is just to try and signpost you to the correct bit uh, underneath. Uh, so, first of all, mathematics at Key Stage 4 shouldn't feel massively different from mathematics at Key Stage 3. Uh, so, Key Stage 3 maths followed the four strands uh, on the screen. So, they followed the number strand, algebra, statistics, and geometry. All those same things are covered at Key Stage 4 in GCSE, uh, obviously just in more detail and more challenging content. Um, but it shouldn't feel uh, massively different. Um, all those same content areas are there just being pushed further forward. Um, so there's three qualifications that we offer in Key Stage 4. Uh, the first one, the most important one, is GCSE Maths, uh, which is the qualification that every student takes in the school. It's double weighted. It counts twice for the students. Uh, on the school's results so it is really important for us as well as for those students um, and we are really fortunate here at Brianleys that most uh, students and most parents understand how important their maths is and they do prioritise that um, which is fantastic for us. Uh, we've then got uh, two qualifications that serve different purposes um, but like I uh, was saying most students um, don't do those, most students stick just with GCC maths. So of the other qualifications we have the Edexcel Awards uh, which is typically for our students who find math challenging. Um, the GCC math has got a lot of problem solving content, a lot of uh, wordy context questions, and the Edexcel Awards uh, don't have any of that. They are just, um, can you do this skill? So they're an opportunity for students to show uh, what they can do um, if the GCC might not um, lend itself as easily because of the wordiness or the, the problem solving elements. So that's a qualification to try and make sure that students have uh, something to demonstrate for their maths uh, if, if math is a subject that they struggle with. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, we also have GCSE Further Maths, uh, which is specifically aimed at students who are thinking of taking maths or further maths uh, in the sixth form. Uh, and that's for the students uh, for whom P stage four maths is not challenging enough as it is, uh, and they want to push themselves even further and get a bit of a head start at Key Stage 5. Um, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea as to what to expect at Key Stage 4. Uh, Mr. Lucas and Mr. Williamson will give you more details about those specific qualifications uh, on their videos below. Thank you. Bye.